Hello, everybody. Um, I am in version 2.79b again, my uh, very comfortable previous version. And uh, I've given 2.8 a run, and uh, it's great, but I am more happy working in this environment for the time being. So I hope you can follow along if you're in 2.8, and I'll probably be doing some of the shortcuts from 2.8 by accident. Um, what I have planned uh, for this little series is to model some very uh, relatively simple and basic kind of uh, objects. Uh, the point is just to practice modeling and uh, to throw on some colors maybe. Uh, and, uh, and that's about it. All right, so I'm going to start with this, um, this image right here and I'll provide a link uh, for the image. It's not mine. It's just something from the internet that we're going to use as a reference. So let's make this little cabinet uh, type thing here. Okay, my screencast keys are on and I've just deleted everything. I'm in cycles. Um, I just like to work in cycles. And so here we go. We're going to go from the top view and I'm going to go shift A and I'm going to bring down a plane. This is more of a square than a rectangle. So we're going to shape this thing here. I'm going to go into edit mode. And I'm going to turn on snap to increment and I'm going to make sure that that's on there. All right, let's uh, scale this in the Y and it'll uh, bring it in to three. Might be good enough. Uh, we can adjust that in a bit. So let's now look from the side. I'm going to extrude it up, E to extrude, and I'm going to bring it up to there. That's not going to be tall enough. It's a little bit too wide still, so we're going to come up, and I might even come up right to there. And that looks a little bit too tall now for, to me. So we can always adjust. It doesn't really matter. One, I'll come down three, and we'll see if that's the one. That looks to be the one. All right, cool. Now, when we look at this, we can see there's this back rectangular section, and then there's the the two drawers and the two sort of cupboards that are they look a little bit separated okay in order to give the sense that they can open or whatever so we need a separate pieces uh, for that and so the way I'm going to do that is um, this is my front right here I'm going to go into edit mode and in face selection I'm going to select that face and turn off snapping for now and I'm going to shift D and I'm going to pull it out a little, a little bit and P to break it out into a new object, like an object mode. So I have that and I have that. With this one selected, I'm going to set the origin of geometry, just bring my transform tool right in the center of the geometry. And same thing for this one. All right, so it's all set up now. Okay, now, um, this one is really not just a solid piece. It's like a drawer and that, a drawer and that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit mode and from front view we're going to cut this in half so we can do one side and then the other I'm just wondering if this is wide enough I have a feeling it should be a bit wider so I'm going to select it all and I'm going to turn snapping back on and I've got to increment and I'm going to SX and I'm going to come out to there try two of those little squares Okay, same thing for this one. I'm going to look from the back, control one. I'll go into edit mode, make sure I selected the whole thing. And uh, not E, sorry. SX, come out one, two. Let me make sure I got it all there. Okay. So now it's a little bit wider. Okay, so back to front view. And I'm going to put an edge loop right down the middle, control R. And in uh, vertex selection, I'm going to select these two vertices and I'm just going to delete them. And I'm going to mirror this over. We could do the same thing on the back so that I only have to do in inset one side of this thing. Only have to inset on one side and it'll do it on the other. So that might make things a bit easier for us. So let's see, there's the front. So I'm going to select that and go into edit mode. And you can see I've got that. So I can just go Control R. That'll put an edge loop right in the middle. I can make sure I grab all three of these and I'm going to go X vertices. Okay. So we'll do a mirror in just a minute. Now, with this one still active, the back one, I'm going to hit the um, face selection. Control 3 will look from the side that I want to. And I'm going to go into a wireframe so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to hit 
divide inset I'm gonna pull in and, and bring it and I want to go in one of these units no, I don't want it going deeper I just want it at the same level I just want it inset like that control 3 again okay now I'm going to switch over to vertex selection and I'm going to deselect and I'm going to grab these two and I'm going to pull it up to snap to there okay I'll now come over here I'll grab these two and I'll pull them until it snaps this one and this one snap to that grid line and these two will snap to this grid line deselect go to solid view look make sure everything looks okay all right okay now we need to think about what to do with this with this front piece let's go into edit mode let's go into wireframes so we can see through now we've got drawer and we've got this um nice line right there that could separate them i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to go Control r click and bring an edge loop and snap it to there so that this could be my drawer and this could be my cupboard now they're not separated yet but i think what we'll do is i think we should do that right now we'll go back in solid view see it's one piece i think i should switch to face selection i'll turn off snapping i think i should select that and go p break it out okay now i need to reset origin of geometry on that guy origin geometry on that guy i'll leave that actually I probably for mirroring probably should have left it there it doesn't matter well, I think maybe what we'll do is we'll take both of these, turn on snapping, and let's just push them to there. So we're on a line there. All right, let's go back into this one, and let's select it all. And let's extrude it out. How thick? Well, let's go E to extrude, and let's come out one, two, three. Let's see if that's thick enough. I think we need more. Oh, starting Q base. Ah. All right, well, let's, let's just let that go. Let's come out four, five. That might be enough. Sorry, Cubase, we're not recording music right now. You're gonna close, aren't you? There we go, okay. Let's see how that looks. Mm -hmm. Well, we can always start with that. We can do it more. Mm -hmm. Kinda wanna do it more, tell you the truth. So let's come out. Five, six. Let's let's go with six and see how that feels. Let's grab this piece here. Look from the side. Edit mode. Select, and we'll come out the same distance. D, and we're moving in the y direction. So I'm just going to go G Y and come out like that. Okay. So I've got those pieces. There's no separation yet, but that's okay. All right. Back in this one. Front view. Let's just select the front face. I'll go into wireframe and we're going to go I to inset. We're going to pull in like that. And now in vertex selection, what happened there? I'm going to grab those two points and from the front, I'm going to snap them. These two, these two, and these two. Okay, good, that's good. Let's do this one in edit mode. Uh, I think actually it's easier to do this in saw. No, I do have to do it in edit mode, don't I? Uh, face selection, wireframe, okay. I to inset, come on in. Make sure it's not going back. Vertex selection, front view. Let's get you snapped in. to do that guys um it's pretty close already isn't it okay okay i guess
guess we got it. I guess we got it. Okay, let's take this guy. And uh, in any selection, I'm going to use face selection. All right, we're going to insert this. Let's look from the front so we can see wireframe. And let's insert it to this grid line, I think. Let's try uh, Eat Extrude. And let's try, well, let's say one, two, three, four, five. I think that's more what we're looking for, but let's have a look at that. That might be just fine. Let's uh, look at there. Let's try that. So we went five. So we're up on the side and wireframe. Let's make sure we got enough room to go five here. Now, yeah, that's good enough. Eight. One, two, three, four, five. Is that right? Is that the same depth? Five. Okay. That's way yeah. out. Okay. This guy. Select. Need to extrude. We can go into Y, G, Y. One, two, three, four, five. So everything is looking okay so far. We don't see a split here yet, so let's try something. Let's let's try first of all putting on a bevel here. So I'm selecting the back piece. I'm going to go over to my modifiers. I'm going to choose bevel, and I'm going to choose. Uh, I might do three segments, and uh, let's go 0 0.03. Try that. You can switch to angle and see if you like that any better. Let's try 0 0.02. Just leave it like that for now. Uh, I'm going to select this piece and then shift and click that one, control L and choose modifiers. Select this one and this one, control L and choose modifiers. A to D select. And that's basically what I was hoping. But by putting the bevel, it would pull it back a little so it would almost look like a separation. And that may be good enough um, for a separation. Now, um, what I'm going to do is let's mirror this back part so that we get uh, the other side of it. So let's take this. You'll note that the 3D cursor is still down there in the middle, all right? It's sort of at the, the very, yeah, the, the middle point of this. So, so I'm going to go ahead and mirror this, and I'm going to go with it selected. I'm going to choose Mirror, and it's going to make the other side for me. All right, I'll choose Clipping. I'm not going to apply it yet in case I got to do anything. Now for these guys, the 3D cursor is right there. Let's see if I can just mirror or if I need to set my origin to the 3D cursor and then you can get it. And then let's look and see if we have enough separation. And I think we do. So let's do the same with this one. Let's add a mirror. All right, we're in the X. And my 3D, my 3D cursor is there, but my origin is there. Set the origin to the 3D cursor, and it will mirror across. And let's say we'll be seeing what we got. That looks good. Okay, now I'm snapping on. Um, with a thicker object, it's a little bit uh, harder to do this way. So I'm, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to switch to face. All right, and I'm going to see if I can take this and snap it to uh, that face and sort of curse over it and see how well it snaps and it may not work that well uh, <laughs> and so uh, actually let's turn it a little bit and see if I can get it there and see now okay, it's gone inside all right yeah all right so let's try edge all right to that edge how's that and when I do that I still have a bit of separation but maybe not as much as in the diagram so I may start with that and I may move it out a little bit okay so I'm going in the in the Y so I'm gonna go GY and sort of see if I can snap it to this edge yeah I think I need more and I don't think it lined up right Snap it to that edge. 
Yep, so I don't like it yet, so I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna select this piece and this piece, and I'm gonna move it without snapping, just a little bit more until I'm happy. And I might even wanna go more than that. And as I look at these, I say to myself, they look a little shrimpy. I think I need, I think I need them a bit thicker, so I'm gonna take both of these and I've got a mirror on, so I can't set the origin of geometry or I'll change it. I'm just going to go SY. I'm going to pull, make them, see if I can make them a bit thicker. It's going weird right now because my 3D cursor is there. I'm just going to pull them back now. Just line them up wherever you want. Okay, you can always adjust these. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Let's make the hardware on there, these little knobs. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to come into this and then go into edit mode i'm still got the mirror on so that's why i'm leaving it on so i can do this okay and zoom in and then select that face i'm gonna go shift d so i got a copy and a scale s to scale i'm gonna bring it down it's a bit more rectangular than i want so i'm gonna scale this in the x as well make it into a bit of a square i'm gonna scale it all now and then i'm gonna i'm gonna e to extrude i'm gonna pull out a ways like this and then I go E to extrude, I'm going to scale again to about the size I want. E to extrude, I'm going to come out. And you can see it forming on this side. It's a little too round for my liking, so I'm going to bring it out a bit more. And I'm going to control R, I'm going to click to put an edge loop. And I might just leave it there. That might be good enough for what I'm doing. Okay, so I get that. Very nice. Let's do a similar thing. We're gonna make the handle over here. Okay, as you can see, right in the middle there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, create that out of this piece. Okay, I, I could select um, in face selection when I do this, I could select this piece, but because it's angled, it's awkward to work with. So I'm gonna select this piece, Shift D, I'm gonna scale it. Uh, I'm gonna scale it in the X, Scale it in the Z, S Z. I'm gonna pull it over. It goes underneath. So I'm just gonna pull it out. It's still attached right here. You start to see one as the mirror uh, from the front. That's not the size I want yet. So I'm just gonna hit S to scale it. Just try to position it there. Uh, let's not do that. I'm trying to pull it over till I get a spot that I like. I'll scale in the X a bit more. It's a bit wide, and uh, we'll see if we like that. Maybe it needs to be a bit bigger. Let me scale it in the Z. All right, now <clears throat> I'm going to uh, E to extrude. I'm going to pull it out, give it some thickness. And I need to put some edge loops in this, but if I start doing this, I believe it's going to go into my... Well, no, it doesn't seem to go into the regular body, does it? All right, so let's do two. Roll your mouse up, get two. Scale in the Z to do this because I'm going to make this into a handle. So I'm going to extrude this region and this region as follows. Here we go. Select those two faces. I'm going to go E to extrude. I'm going to pull out. So I'm making the handle backwards right now, but I'm going to flip it. With those selected, I'm going to X faces, delete those faces. Select a bit of this and go Control L to get what's linked. And then I'm going to rotate this around the Z 180, RZ 180. And they're gonna just push it back in and have a look at the mirrored one. Say, okay, that looks all right. What about uh, center? Yeah, deselect. Oh, they're a little bit uh, thin. Um, I think I'm going to come back in here. It's still selected, and I think I'm gonna pull it in a little bit more. And I might scale this in the X a bit and try to get it to look a little bit more like I want it to. And then go, bring it a plane. Oh, didn't, that didn't seem to work for us. So we will just do it by eye. We'll look down there and we'll try to get it even. And looks like I got two units there and three units there, so not a big deal. We'll come into edit mode, make sure it's selected, scale that in the uh, Y. And now what I'll do is in edge selection, or vertex, doesn't really matter, I'll turn on snap to 
increment again. I'm going to snap it to this one right there, one on that side, and one on that side, and then this one here. Pull one and one. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so it's there. And I can take the whole thing and I can pull it down to there and then let's try extruding up just one and seeing if we're liking that effect I think that's going to look just fine how about the thickness mm, I feel like it should be a bit thicker than that so let's have a look from the side we can bring it up a couple more grid units I'll go one two let's try to try two wasn't much but that's probably good enough I'm going to turn off snappy and I'm going to shift D to copy it. I'm going to pull it down here and look from the side. And I'm going to turn snapping back on and pull it up. Mm, snapping sometimes doesn't work too well. Uh, and so we can snap to edge. We can try that. It's sometimes a bit weird with a bevel. Okay, so I move that into position. Uh, turn off snapping. Uh, there's already a bevel on here, so let's select the bottom. And then this piece and go control L. Wait a second. This has a mirror on it. So maybe we don't want to do that. Although we can just delete the mirror. See it has a bevel and a mirror. So select it. And this one, I'll go control L modifiers. But on this guy, I will delete the mirror. And now that I have the bevel on there, I will select this one. And then this one, control L. And we have our cabinet. Now let's just go back to the diagram and see how well we followed it. I think it looks pretty good. Not very high poly, it's just beveled, so. Okay, um, I think that's gonna be it. I think we'll stick with the modeling for, for this uh, little series. Okay, so that's uh, how to make uh, that piece of furniture right there.